Ryan Schwab here, two-time Grammy-nominated, platinum-certified mixing and mastering engineer, and designer of Gold Clip. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what makes Gold Clip so unique, which is the gold processing. Gold Clip is the best clipper I've ever used, but really the clipper is just a means to an end, which is the gold processing. This is the reason that I made this plugin. Let's just start by listening to some music. I have a track playing with no gold processing and about a dB of clipping. So it sounds full, it sounds good. We're doing about 0.7 dB of clipping. Now, as I add gold processing, it's gonna inflate the low end. It's gonna change the decay of sound, so the decay of the kick drum, the decay of the bass line, but it's not gonna change the attack of any of the sounds, right? This is what makes gold clip sound expensive. Let's listen. <laughs> can hear how those kick drums extend the bass line kind of fills up what it's doing is applying this nonlinear gain let me explain what this nonlinear gain is what we're looking at here is a transfer curve and what a transfer curve describes is a nonlinear process like gold so across the x-axis we have input and across the y-axis we have output this dotted line is a linear process this solid line is the gold process so as the input signal approaches zero or approaches the clipper, this nonlinear gain process is tapering off, right? And this curve towards the top is essentially compression. But because it's instantaneous, like the magnetization of tape, that compression isn't distorted by attack and release from classical compressors. It's fast, it's clean, and it inflates low frequencies, changes the sustain, but maintains the attack. Let's listen to some more music. I'm gonna to switch to the classic curve, which is a more aggressive curve that has a longer knee and adds much more gain. So it's a little bit more hairy. It's a little bit more out of control sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna play this track. We're doing again, minimal clipping and we're just gonna be listening to gold processing. Right, it sounds pretty good. What I'm gonna do is start to add some of this gold processing and I'll just toggle this on and off. I think we're adding about three and a half dB of it. It's changing the dynamics of the track in a really interesting way. It's like lifting up the subs and just making it sound more aggressive, like it's towering over you. I love the way this stuff sounds. Um, when this goes into a limiter after it, it makes the limiter react in a more predictable, softer way because we're getting some of this gain out of this nonlinear process rather than having a limiter interrupt all those transients with an attack and release timing and potential distortions. It sounds clean. It sounds massive. It sounds exciting. Gold clip. <laughs> 